Get out! My eyes are bleached. Get that away from me. Get that. Yes, lads. How's it going down here? Welcome back to another video on the channel. I hope you're doing well. In today's video, what I've got for you is the Team of the Week 1 prediction. We're going to get straight into it. Now, I'm going to, you know, preference this video. I'm recording this at 7.22. Uh, Barcelona are yet to play. Liverpool and Arsenal are playing tomorrow. So, just take this how you will. It, it, it's a rough prediction. Uh, and in my prediction videos, I haven't done one in a long time because FIFA's been dead. But in these prediction videos, I don't really show, like, the bronzes and silvers. I just show you what the cards you really want to see. So, we've got uh, 17 cards in today's video. We just skipped out, you know, the poor ones. And obviously, there's still ones that to go. So, say Salah drops an absolute masterclass tomorrow. He's not going to be in this video, but, you know, just use your own brain. Right. We're going to get straight into it. Uh, it's not really in any particular order, but we're going to go we, We're gonna go with the flow, right? So, in uh, the first team of the week, uh, one position, Alejandro Papu Gomez. Uh, this guy's going to be sick, by the way. He was sick in FIFA 20. He was sick in FIFA 19. He's going to be sick in FIFA 21. Uh, he got himself... Two goals and one assist in a 4 2 win. Tick him off, lads. It's basically a, a verified. He's going to get one, right? Uh, yeah, looks sick. I don't, in these Team of the Week videos, I don't really know what to say. To like, you could probably look at another Team of the Week video and you'll get, like, you know, they, they will show you stats or whatever. I've just got the, the, the map up or whatever. So just take that how you will. The, the Alejandro Gomez is getting in. Three goals, uh, three goal contributions basically, you know, confirms it. Um, so that's that, that, you know, that's that. Get straight to the next one. Now, this one, uh, I had, I've done this live on stream, right? And there was quite a lot of, um, I, I spent about 15 minutes alone on this card, right? Because if you notice, right, we've got, uh, Carrera or C Carrera? I we've got Carrera, right? I'm saying that. Um, and he got a 9.0. He's, he's playing right mid there. Uh, however, Shual Felix got a 9.4. Uh, match rating that is, and also Suarez on the bench, 8.9, and Lorente got a golden assist, so we ended up, you'll see and late in the video, we went for Carrera and Suarez, you could get Lorente, you could go Felix, right, but for me and a chat, we decided Carrera and Suarez, um, you might even only get one, you might just get Suarez, you might just get Carrera, you might just get one of these, right, so just look at all four of them, Carrera, Suarez, Felix, and Lorente, and I at least one of them's getting run. Uh, maybe even two. I'm not sure. We've gone for Carrera. And then later in the video, we have Suarez. Actually not. We have Suarez right now. Okay, there you go. Uh, yeah, Suarez. Yeah, you could go uh, Lorente. You could go Felix. It, it Whatever you want. I've gone for Suarez. Just because a lot of people in the chat was telling me to go with uh, Lorente. Golden assist in centre mid. It, lads, EA don't like you. I, I'm going to say EA don't like you. They know Lorente is a very, very overpowered card. Uh, and they know Suarez isn't exactly an overpowered card, right? So they're going to go for whatever makes more sense to screw you over, right? That is just EA. Uh, so I've gone for Suarez. Absolutely, I'd love a Lorente. But hey, I've gone for Suarez. Next up, we're moving to the Chinese League, I'm fairly sure. Uh, and Jonathan Vieira got a 9.4 match rating with two goals. Uh, and he played left mid. He is normally a, a centre mid cam. However, he did play left mid, so he's going to get a left mid card. Again, it's pretty much confirmed, right? It's not a massive league, so there's not going to be a lot of standout performances. He's going to get one. It's a 9.4 match rating. Uh, he looks decent, man. It, it's SBC fodder, right? Even even at the first in week, it's SBC fodder. Maybe, and you know what? 84 pace isn't the end of the world, but in my eyes, it's SBC fodder. You might want to use him. Be my guest. Now we've got uh, <laughs> talk about <laughs> talk about uh, SBC fodder. I, I it's Iniesta, maybe five years ago, but right now he's just he played left forward, right? So this card, like maybe as a centre mid, you can get away with him first couple of weeks as a centre mid. He played left forward. This it, this just screams SBC fodder. You're not using a 61 pace Iniesta left forward. I'm sorry, I love Iniesta. He used to be incredible. He probably still is, right? He's still probably doing bits in the, uh, in the. is it the Japanese league? I'm fairly sure. Just not on FIFA, man. He's just not a good FIFA card. So, yeah, a left forward Iniesta. Me and the chat were, were arguing if it was a left cam or left forward. I think it's a left forward. The chat seemed to think it was a left forward. So, we've gone for a left forward. We move on, right? It's not a pretty card. Now we've got... Um... We got Wissam Ben Yedda. He, he just he just wanted to piss us off. He got two goals uh, in a three-two victory. They actually had two people sent off. I'm fairly sure. Um, 
Oh, at least they at least had one person sent off. And yeah, Ben Yedder scored two goals. Kevin Volland got two assists. If EA really wanted to be that guy, they could give Volland it. But let's be fair, Yedder got man of the match, scored two goals. He's going to get himself a team of the week on team of the week one. It's kind of good, right? No one can get his, uh, his red picks, but then yeah, whatever. Hey, maybe someone's lucky enough to get him in a, in a pack in division rivals. Good luck to you, lads, because that's going to be a very, very good card. Moving on, uh, we have Cramerich, right? And again... If he was a striker, uh, I wouldn't have any objections to it. You know, he looks pretty decent. Pace could be improved. The shooting uh, is very, very good. He's that kind of build. However, uh, he, he played left wing uh, in a three-back formation. So he's going to be a left wing. I don't really see it being anything other than that. Some people wanted it a striker. The game's the game, lads. He's a left wing. Again, I hate to say it because the team of the week one, it, like, don't get me wrong, there is a lot of good players in here, but there is a lot of SBC fodder, right? No one, I know it's the start of the game, but 74 pace, man. You can get a gold that will have more pace, like a, a non-rare gold that will probably be better left wing. But hey, there is Kramerich. He fully deserves it. Will be winning the player of the month for Bundesliga. Look out for that. Hopefully, it's a central card and that will actually be a good card to use. We move on. I did say it's a good team of the week, right? So we've got Valverde, 85 rated. He uh, he scored uh, in a 3-2 win. You could give it to Ramos. Ramos scored a penalty. Big whoop. But yeah, uh, you could give it to Valverde. I more than likely suspect Valverde is getting the, the inform. A lot of people said he was playing right mid. Uh, however, on this, like, I used this website, Who Scored, and it said he's playing right centre mid, right? So he might be a right mid. However... A lot of websites are showing he played centre mid. So hopefully he's centre mid. Just for the sake of it would be a much better card, right? You're going to play him centre mid, not right mid. Very, very, very good card. And then we're moving on. The defenders were hard. I'll be honest. The defenders were hard to pick. Um, just for the pure, pure fact there wasn't really great defending, like, just defending, right? Um, normally, a goal and a clean sheet sees you off, gets you an inform. And that's exactly what Ruben Diaz done. He scored a goal. Uh, and he kept a clean sheet, right? So you should expect Ruben Diaz to get an inform. Doesn't look like a bad card by any means. The pace is getting there. 68 is not bad, especially at the start of the game. Uh, and the defending physical is class. So he should be pretty decent heading in to the first couple of weeks, right? Now, this is where it starts getting a little bit dodgy, right? It's hard to judge goalkeepers unless you watch them, right? Because they're not scoring a goal. They're not getting assists. The, the, the Twitch chat at this point helped me out, especially Matt Foot trading. Absolute hero. Uh, he said... Magnan got six saves, um, and he just played well, right? He he played very well. Some websites show him getting man of the match. However, some websites show the right back getting a man of the match. It's quite hard to tell. Take this with a pinch of salt. It's quite hard to tell how a you know a goalkeeper for, uh, performs unless you watch every single game. Right? So we've got Magnan. It could be anyone. Uh, there could be one on the bench. I don't know. We've gone for Magnan. Another sweaty player. So far, we've had what Valverde, Ben Yedda. Um, I'm, I'm sure I'm missing one. Now we've got Alessandrini. This team of week one's probably going to be the best team of the week one in uh, in recent history. He scored two goals, one being a pen. He also won man in a match. So it's pretty much confirmed. He played striker. His base is obviously a right wing. He played striker, however. So that's going to be an insane card. You probably see that, you know, if you come against like the, the big, uh, the, you know, the fever point spenders, you're going to come against... Inform Yedda, inform Alessandrini up top in a in a four four two. It's not going to be very pretty uh, unless you're the one using it. Now we've got a uh, Tavernier. I'm probably saying that wrong. I apologise. The bloke scored two goals. Yeah, they're both penalties, but he scored two goals nonetheless, right? So he's a right back scoring two goals, winning man of the match. He's going to get an inform, pretty much confirmed, right? Uh, it looks like a very very decent card, English. So that's very very e uh, easy to link him. Uh, should be a, a pretty decent card, right? Now we've got a centre-back. Now, this is a stretch, I'll be honest with you. If you see right wing, uh, Bergh Berghees? I butchered that. I'm sorry, boys. Uh, yeah, he he scored a penalty and an ass, uh, got an assist. However, we're trying to look for defenders now. We've got we've got a lot of attackers in this team. Uh, so, yeah, we're looking for just, um, just defenders, right? Uh, Sensai got a goal. He didn't keep a clean, clean sheet, but we've gone for him anyway, right? We've gone for him... He could very well not get in, and they could pick Berg Berghees, which they might very uh, very well do. Now we've got Jamie Vardy. Uh, 
this is just very, very recently. I was actually, uh, you know, I was making this video on stream and the chat was keeping me up to date. Vardy scored. Vardy scored again. Vardy scored again. So, yeah, he's pretty much confirmed. It uh, came down to three goals, uh, two of which are penalties, one of which is just a goal. Should be getting, like, that's confirmed, right? A hat-trick against Man City. Confirmed. Seal, seal it off. Very, very good card. Great pace, great shooting. Going to be very, very nice. It's just a shame, like, you can't get these in red picks. Because obviously champs is, uh, champs isn't on, so the only time you're good, like the only way you're gonna uh, play these or use these cards is if you pack them or you uh, you buy them. I wish there was red picks, but that uh, the game's the game. Now we're 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 going down to the uh, you know the the non rare or like pretty much close to silvers, right? We've got Ferguson. He didn't get man in a match for some reason, but he did score two penalties, right? So he scored two goals. So that's pretty much, in my opinion, enough to get a a, a team week. He could, you know, the, the, the person that got man of match could get a, an inform over him. But I think two penalties, two goals, it sees you off for an inform. Then we have Mertens. Now, this is extremely recently. Uh, I believe the game finished a couple, like, a couple minutes ago, 10 minutes ago. Obviously, when you're watching this, it won't. But you know what I mean? Uh, yeah, Mertens got uh, one goal and two assists. So, three goal contributions. You could, again, argue to give it to Lozano, who got two goals. Mertens, however, did get the higher match rating, one man at a match, uh, and got more goal contribution. So I'm hoping Mertens gets it. He's playing Cam, but many people in the chat said he was playing centre forward. So yeah, centre forward Cam, it doesn't really make much of a difference, right? And then we've got to end the video, I believe, uh, Oliver Oliveira. I'm probably saying that wrong. I apologise. He got a 9.2 uh, from centre mid, uh, scoring a goal and getting an assist. C uh, Corona, can I say that on YouTube? Uh, got goal and an assist, and then Morega got a goal and a goal, two goals. Uh, so you could argue any of them over the centre mid. I'm just going with whoever got the man in the match, and he also scored a goal and got an assist, right? So, boys, that is going to be the end of the video. Hopefully, you enjoyed it. If you did, let me know by leaving a cheeky little like. If you made it this far, sure, surely you enjoyed it, right? I mean, if you didn't, I'm sorry, but if you did, uh, le let me know by subscribing, right? I'll be doing this every week from now on, and hopefully. Uh, hopefully I predicted right. You know, hopefully I get a lot of them right. Boys, that's going to be the end of the video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later. Peace.